With record-breaking rainfall in back-to-back -back years, Southern California really is in good shape. But engineers are faced with a critical task when it comes to climate change. How to capture and save stormwater when it comes in massive amounts and in short periods like we've seen. KCAL News reporter Tom Waite has more from Morris Dam in the Angeles National Forest. At Morris Dam, a massive release of pent-up stormwater and no, this precious resource is not flowing into the ocean or the LA River. It's headed into storage. You kind of think of a cubic foot as uh, a basketball. So essentially 1,300 basketballs are, are shooting out of these valves every second. Eric Batman is a senior civil engineer with LA Public Works. Between last year and this year for downtown LA, we received over 54 inches of rain. It's the most rainfall in a two year period on record going back to 1872. How to capture all of that stormwater has become an even more critical task. Given climate change and our boom and bust water years, this network of dams in the Angeles National Forest is a critical component of that goal. There's actually two other dams upstream that feed into this facility. The water flows out into the San Gabriel River and then here into what's called spreading grounds, where it's absorbed into the ground and stored. But maintaining storage is one major issue. In 2020, the Bobcat fire burned a lot of the watershed. When that happens, we see quite an increase in sediment and debris coming into the dams. The goal is to remove that sediment, restore the capacity so that we can continue to provide that critical flood protection and stormwater capture aspects. Another major problem engineers are facing, our new normal, storms that come hard and fast, dropping a massive amount of rainwater in a short period. When we have very intense storms um, in a very short period of time, our focus is really on flood protection, making sure uh, people and property are safe. Um, and what occurs though, is a lot of times that water, we, we have difficulty slowing it down to capture it, but it's for the, the, for the safety of people and property, we need to let that go. That means there's a need for more spreading grounds to absorb more water, but finding that space is a big issue. Unfortunately, these days, a lot of the real estate um, has been developed for other purposes. It's very difficult to find property um, to add spreading grounds. Water storage to preserve this critical resource will be key to ensuring a better future in Southern California. Tom Waite, KCAL News.